And as I said, I have a large success in treating hundreds of kids, probably even several thousand, uh, using this exact approach. Are there certain kids whose problems are more obscure or more serious? Yes. The majority of them I recognize in the very first encounter, but there are kids who we give them a trial, we see that things don't work out well, and then they go ahead and they have an investigation, but it really is a minority. So in other words, you don't have to spend a lot of money to make a diagnosis. There is a residual case where you might have to do an extensive workup. The most of them good history taking and interaction with the family and the kid, with the diet and everything you mentioned, you probably have a 90 plus success rate, etc. As well as the physical examination, and that I'll agree with. And every once in a while you have one that's a little bit more difficult, but that's the real, real. And, 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 and the vast majority of those, you'll be able to figure out right from the get go that something else is going on. You must have a lot of insurance companies that like you a lot. I don't know. <laughs> they don't seem to pay that much, but I guess so. Well, you actually save them a lot, and also you get something very important. You save the kid well, from... Well, the families certain, like me, that I'll tell you. But save the kid from a, a workup. And these workups sometimes with the x-rays are not pleasant things to go through. But Rarely, they even a complication associated with it. Okay, that's true. But there are occasional cases where, where there are some kids you do have to do a workup. Oh, absolutely.